hello beautiful people how you are doing welcome back to my youtube channel this is real news tv i'm here to talk about the coming back of um, queen naomi into the palace of the only of ife there was this um news that went around that queen naomi had decided to go back to the palace of the only of ife but before i continue this video if you're new to my channel you're welcome and if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please enable to click on the subscribe button for me it doesn't it is free just click on the subscribe button just subscribe to my channel and don't forget to also turn on the notification bell that will let you know when i post new video it will notify you thank you guys and please um let's continue with what i was saying so i was i'm not really happy and i'm not really sad because um I was happy in a, in the sense that uh, Queen Naomi was going back to the palace of the Oni of Ife. Like, I was happy that she's going to take charge. I was, most especially, I was happy because of um, her child, you know. Um, uh, no matter, notwithstanding that the child is still the only child of the Oni of Ife, but as long as that child is not growing into that palace, this, this is my own point of view. Everybody have their own point of view, so let, let's not misunderstand ourselves here. So, if um, if this child is growing, he's three years now, and he's growing outside his father's home. Yes, I know it is a polygamous family, it is a crowded home. But at least, he should be there to you know, see how things are run, to see his father's empire. So that he will not become a stranger in the long run. Yes, so that he will not become a stranger after. That is what I'm trying to say. So, but I, I know it will be difficult. It will be difficult for Queen Naomi to go back to the Palace of the Oni of Ife because a lot of things has happened. Things has changed. People were asking, what is she going back to the palace to do? What is she going to do there as in what? Was she not better when she was when, uh, now than when she was in the palace? To be honest with you, she's looking more beautiful, more classy than when she was in the palace of the Oni of Ife. Where, where she was treated like a nobody. She only, she only carried the title queen, but she wasn't regarded as a queen. For people that tell her story then so me i felt the whole thing i felt the the i i, I got the real gist but um what about the, the child that is what i'm trying to to say now because a lot of these um celebrities because she's already a celebrity and people that Put, uh, that comes out of social media to talk about their marriage, to prepare people that their marriage are well talked about. Even if Queen Naomi is a, quiet, is a quiet type that doesn't like to talk, but news are still, people are still bringing up things about her. And um, even though she's trying to live her best life, she's trying to live a stress-free life, but I just hope that uh, fame will not make some people do something that they don't like i am a huge fan of queen naomi i love her so much and i love her even before she married them um, the only of ife but uh even if we say our marriage was a mistake but uh, when we look back and see what we got from that marriage like example like children because some children some people feel that if their marriage it did not work some of them even hate the child that comes out of that marriage. Why some of them will love the child that comes out of that marriage and say, after all, I did not lose. I still have a child to call mine. So what I'm saying is that even if the marriage did not work, she should not prevent the boy from being close. Not just, not just uh, knowing that this is my father or just going there as a stranger. Like taking charge. Like, this is my son's father's house. And since you're still answering his name, that means you still want the marriage. Because women like uh, Yole Doche's wife, she says she doesn't want the marriage again, but she still hold on to the name. So me, and I, I'm, I'm trying to believe the, someone that said that these women that divorce, these women that their husbands are celebrities, and uh, they, they say that they don't want the marriage anymore, but they still hold on to the name. That means uh, it is the name, it is um, 
their husband's name that is giving them the fame. That is why they don't want to drop the name because nobody will want to, nobody will remember them with their name. But when they see their husband's name, they will know that, oh, this is this is a person's wife. You see that uh, we are still carrying this, um, this uh, title that it is a man that owns a crown on in a woman's head. Maybe that is what he's trying to imply. I don't know. But um, she has um, said she is not uh, ready to go back to the Palace of the Oni of Ife. And I understand because the place is too crowded. And I pray something better comes out of this whole saga and uh, this um, talk about Oni of Ife and Queen Naomi. Something comes out of it because the way it seems now, I think the both of them has has, has, has uh, chosen a way to communicate with each other. They do their thing, um, marriage from distance. Um, when we are living together, it wasn't smooth. So may maybe we should try from afar. Maybe that is what she's doing. Or maybe she's taking advices of fighting from afar. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video.